Hello and welcome to today's session. In this video, we'll walk through how to remotely debug Java application deployed on OpenShift. When working with Java microservices on OpenShift, there may be times when you need to debug issues such as unexpected behavior, performance bottlenecks, or errors that aren't evident from logs alone. Remote debugging offers significant benefits by allowing you to analyze issues without the need to redeploy the application or add an Necessary login. Remote debugging is a Java virtual machine feature and is not dependent on where your application is running. In this session, we will first explore how to enable remote debugging for a jar file running locally and then demonstrate how to achieve the same on OpenShift. For our demo, we create a microservice using Spring Boot and this is an endpoint at this URL. And using Gradle, we create the jar file like this. The project has been compiled, the jar file is also created. We can check that under build libs. And this is our jar file. Spring Boot will add an embedded Tomcat server in this jar file. So when you run the jar file, Tomcat will deploy the application and you can reach the endpoint through the localhost. This jar file contains everything for your application and embedded Tomcat. If we run it like this, Java minus jar, so the embedded Tomcat server will be started and the application will be deployed inside this embedded Tomcat. However, as already said, the remote debugging is included in Java Virtual Machine. So to enable it, you need to add this option, agent lib. This is the command, transport, you define the GDWP, and this is the port, how to access the debugger from outside. Now let's run this command and see. As you see, our application is now running. Now to connect to the remote debugger in IntelliJ, we need to define this edit configuration. So we can do that in, I define it here, remote in IntelliJ, I define it this remote GVM debug. So this is the one and the argument you need to add there is the same as how we started the jar file in our case is localhost but it could be another ip address here but the important one this is the port and this command now let the bug and see if we can connect and as you see this is the message we are now connected to the target vm so to run so we can test that i have here a breakpoint so let's open the browser to access this endpoint so localhost is 8080 you see it is working it jump here it stop it here so we can go further for example like this and so on so remote debugging is working for the jar file now the next step is to enable debugging for the microservice when running in a docker so now we will see how to enable remote debugging when the application is running in a docker container for that i prepared this docker file the base image is this one because i'm using make os as you see i'm copying the jar file in inside this folder and at the end this is the entry point is consists of this command java minus jar and i'm using this variable so this is the way how to inject your argument when this set to this option then the remote debugging is enabled and when this java ops is empty so it will run in the normal modes so why i am doing this it is just to demonstrate how you should write your docker file when deploying in OpenShift. the trick is only this one you provide this possibility to pass argument to the gvm on the fly so this is the docker file now let's create the image using this command so let's call it microservice demo and as you see, the Docker image has been created. So now we need to run the container based on this image and that using this command, this one. So Docker run, we need to make the port from the container because the server is running on this port. And now as well, we have to expose or to make this one from the Docker container to the host. And the way to inject or to communicate with the Java virtual machine inside the container is using in this environment variable so as defined it here in the docker file so we need only to set this one to use this option like this and after that we specify the docker image so now let's run 
As you see in the log, this confirmation, so the remote debugging is enabled. We can test again here in its configuration as our Docker container is running on the localhost. So the host will be again the localhost and this is the port. So now if we run with the bug, you see it is attached and we can confirm that when to run to access, let's open this one, new one, local host api because this one is as well exposed now let's see and as you see jump here in the debug window and we see and we can debug the application so now we know how to enable remote debugging for a standalone jar file also for a jar file running in a docker container now we will use this knowledge to enable remote debugging in OpenShift. As I said at the beginning, normally it doesn't matter where your application is running as debugging is a Java virtual machine feature. So you need only to enable it and it doesn't matter where your application is running. So now let's demonstrate how to enable it in OpenShift. So the principle is the same. I have here an OpenShift instance. This is my project sandbox. I deployed my service based on that document image microservice demo so as it is using the same docker so i have only to pass the environment variable java opts as argument and there is several way to achieve that either in the yaml file when defining so we can do that on the fly as you can see here this is the yaml file this is the environment variable i pass it here java opts and this is the value this is one way to do that you can also do that directly in the pause you can go to the pause and edit the environment replicates environment you can add one or or something like that you can do that in the production it will work so now we have only to do a port forwarding to see the effect to to demonstrate that it is working so first let me stop the debugger for this one in OpenShift, I am using OTC, so let's forward OTC port this one. So we can forward the port from the pause directly to my host machine by using OTC command. I open a new window, OTC get project, I have many projects, OTC object send box. Or say get port. So this is my running post. So what I can do is to forward the port from this one, like this, or say port forward, and then the port name, and it is running on 8080. So I need to forward this one first so it is working and i copy this command to forward the second port for the debugger let's do the same we open new terminal and i will forward so you can do that in the production as well it will work so i use this in the production is forwarding now let's see if we can access so it is the same now it is forwarded to my local machine using the otc command and here in the configuration we will keep everything as for local host 5005 and see if it will work so now this port is forwarded to my open shift instance so let's try i try to access 8080 is mapped to the port from the open shift let's see and as you see it worked as well so now we are connected to the container inside my openshift cluster this was the demo how to enable remote debugging so the principle is the same in a remote debugging is java virtual machine features so it doesn't matter where you are running your java application you have only to find a way how to pass the argument the option to enable the remote debugging so i hope you find this helpful thanks for watching and bye